Have you ever seen um All right, I think we're live. Welcome, hey! welcome to the Falcon. Have you ever seen a toilet on the Falcon? Have I don't think I have. Oh, maybe, sure. maybe, they, maybe, that's, have. maybe that's why I haven't got any escape pods on that thing. Maybe. So, uh, <laughs> this is uh, a grudge match between uh, Brad and uh, Jeff. Yeah, so I think it's a bit of a slightly unofficial sort of they decided, hey, before New Year's, let's get something in. That's right. Let's... Uh, Copy, uh, see yeah. Grudge Match 2 on my shirt there. Yeah. I'm uh, David Graham. I lost, and so I have to wear this shirt, <laughs> it seems like, forever. And I just wear Superman because, you know, well, I don't need to explain so that. So what we're doing <laughs> is uh, uh, Brad and Jeff will each have each picked a scum, rebel, and imperialist, and uh, we have random cards here, and we will choose uh, on one side is written what faction they have to be, and we'll, we will pick these randomly. And then uh, they will play uh, best of three with uh, uh, in that way. Okay, so Dennis, here we go. So Brad, Brad will be playing. Okay, I'll just pick one of these. I have two witnesses in here. Uh, I will go with that one. All righty. So Brad is rebel. Show the lovely people. Brad, that's what it says. Brad, there we go. Brad is rebel. There we go. Red. 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 With a, a, that's terrible. <laughs> Let's put that over there. And Jeff is going to be. Da -da -da -da. Jeff Ooh, will be flying scum, scum. scum and villainy. So cool. All right, so, so we give so, it to those. We're done with those for now. And let's just uh, confirm that Dennis heard that. Dennis, yep, did you yep, hear that? Good. Beautiful. Cool. Excellent. All righty. So, in case any of you are wondering, the conditions for the grudge match tonight is the losing player will have to take whatever list the victor of tonight chooses for them. Now that is every time they play. Every and, time they play. Until now, of course, regional ACT regionals. Now, of course, if you're not familiar, we also have the Ash Clause in effect for this as well. The Ash Clause being that they do need to show up to every game. If they miss two games, I assume some sort of penalty has been agreed upon between uh, them. I, be I believe so, but they both I think they're here so often. So the Ash well. Charlton Clause is for the uh, not losing a grudge match and running away like a sook. Uh, <laughs> that's essentially what the the rules. So uh, they will play. Mm. Uh, uh, best of three and there is one condition on the is wow. that uh, it can't be a stupid list they can't have dead no, so you can't just it. give them they'll, they'll be sensible lists but they'll be chosen by the winner the winner takes all yeah okay uh, where, uh, so here are the lists so brad scott is going with his ray jake 96 or 7 point uh build which is uh excellent crew uh so what uh, brad will be planning for is to push the limit to take two actions uh, Finn will give him extra um, dice uh, for re-rolls and then when he comes out of his stress uh, he'll dump the stress, Kyle will give him a, a focus token and then he'll get some more action so he's essentially uh, will get a, a focus probably a boost and an evade or a target lock and the homing missiles are to kill defenders uh, and his Jake is his famous Jake uh, build which is uh, auto thrusters VI push the limit rockets and test bot so he moves and he gets about 50 tokens and can move everywhere that's pretty much what and uh, Mick do you want to take us through Jeff's list uh, so Jeff has got the Asajj Syndicate file, uh, list that um, obviously we're going for a lot of pushing, we're going for a lot of cargo shoots, and gyroscopic targeting is it's going to be an interesting combination. So, so the uh, Asajj will uh, push the limit, take a stress to take an evade or a, a focus. Latrasi, yep. uh, so Asajj Ventress's uh, ability is to put stress onto a ship that's at range one or two before fighting starts, and then Latrasi can use that uh, stress token as an evade token if they so choose. The Shadowcaster title card, we've lost all the screen status. Yep. Uh, the Shadowcaster... Um, uh, title card uh, allows you to throw around tractor beams, I believe, and gyroscopic uh, targeting. At the end of the combat phase, you can move your turret if you did a three, four, or five, a three or more, I believe. And the syndicate thugs. Uh, We've got the TLTs there. The TLTs. <laughs> Terrible. Annoying. Uh, they should be really annoying for Jake and Ray. Mm. I'm uh, a lot of more guaranteed potential damage there. So I do think uh, that Ray is going to stalk that uh, Ventress and try and blow it up. The stress token that Ray will 
receive. If Ray gets double stressed, that's going to be a bit of an issue mm. um, with the whole push the limit thing. I think uh, Jeff was expecting, and the Syndicate Thuds will, of course, with the aggro mech throw out the stress. So, well, I think you'll find as well that the Syndicate Thugs will also probably aim more for the A Wing because they can focus, and the A Wing with minimal hull, a TLT, you get two TLTs lined up on an A Wing. And you can pretty much destroy that in two uh, two shots. We'll see. So, who, so let's go out on the limb here. Who's your prediction, Mick, for this game? Look, honestly, first game, I think I'm going to give it to Brad because I think he's been flying the Ray and Jake like a champion since he conceived the list. Um, he's had a couple of bumps. We did see a bit of a major error at active aces with him, but I feel like as long as he, when he flew off the board and lost the game. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> But otherwise, in that game, at the same time, he flew it fantastically. And at the time, we had concluded that he had, in fact, effectively won that game. It was uh, he was trying to uh, really rub the victory in, and uh, and his pockets missed. Yeah. So I think that uh, I actually think that Jeff's list is very well conceived with handing out stress, which is what the Falcon and Jake will be expecting. They'll they'll want one stress token, but two. Uh, that's uh, that's not going to work uh, no, for Brad, no. and so what what uh, what it appears uh, Jeff is going to do is tie. It's going to tie uh, Brad up with stress, and yep. we'll see um, how he goes with that. Absolutely. So I guess uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to see that we're uh, you know picking one on the other there. Well, not, well not just completely well, biased for one at this we point. Will, we will see how it goes. I'll just check that the uh, R4 aggro mech is the stress uh, mech because now I'm starting to think it's. Uh, I'm not the, sure if it is. I'm not sure it is actually. I'm just. The, oh, is it the green manoeuvre one? Oh, I've made a mistake there. Oh, I'm going for Brad then. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, 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 R4. What's that? All right. Well, as our viewers can see, while well, David double checks on that particular yeah. droid, when, spend, when attacking after you spend a focus token, you may acquire a target uh, block on the yep. defender. That's the R four aggro well, That's going to work really favorably with the uh, TLTs, I think. Actually, that's where, yeah, because the t the the uh, droid for uh, the I believe uh, is the R seven. Uh, All right. So anyway, it's for our viewers here, you'll see that we do have the setup and going on. On at this present moment, uh, now, Jeff, now, now Brad, Brad, uh, Brad was ninety-eight, I believe. Jeff was a hundred. I believe that's the points, correct? And uh, so, so Brad, uh, Brad is at pilot skill eight and nine, and Jeff is at two, two, and I believe the Sarge is six or or five. I'd assume six. that's why these are being deployed first as well, yeah. And then Brad will deploy. Jake oh, and, and of Ray. course, uh, and of course, Brad will not be playing with the Millennium Falcon on the Millennium Falcon base. He will be playing with the uh, Ray Bobblehead. Sort um, of a his, his fun way of doing. Uh, yes, of different, and and it went. It's been uh, it's been a welcome addition. Now Jeff has uh, customized his uh, Shadowcaster, as you can see on the top. The, yep. the gun is slightly different. He, he's put a magnet in there, so rather than have the crappy cardboard one that you shift around he's mm. got one at the top with a magnet that he can mm. move around nice configuration and i'm surprised they didn't do something with that with the model originally because obviously recently they've done certain things like that with the u-wing and the tie striker being able to change the look of it but physical manipulation physical manipulation right. yeah whereas before that not a lot of ships did that so the uh anyway, class shuttle can you zoom in on the text on the chat box on the second monitor so we can read it. Um, Dennis, the, uh, the camera above the board is yeah, sort of uh, shimmying. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's good. Mindstorm. Uh, Someone tell Jeff to stop playing X-Wing and go paint my AI right. stuff. I feel like that's Brad Silk, and, well, I'm sure he'll paint it eventually. Uh, I think that's uh, okay. a tough shit. Yeah. Tough shit, yeah. He's... Uh, <laughs> He's down here playing yeah. the. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to slag off the uh, Imperial Soul people, but he's playing a proper game uh, oh. right now. See, it's <laughs> oh, a bit rough. Mick wants to stay away from that one. Look, I'm. I'm uh, and we're. At I tend to slightly one. disagree with you only because I think Imperial Soul's a pretty solid game. Um, it's no X-wing. Right. Don't get me wrong. It's no right. X-wing. I've but. not played it, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, so the so there are five rocks and one piece of debris, which is interesting. 
Well, yeah, I have a strong feeling that the Y Wings will probably try and bring it into the debris field. They will shoot. Mm. Yes, they'll shoot at things. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you'd want to. Yeah, that, that's the plan. <laughs> but uh, a Sarge is going to. Um, that's interesting. I would not have picked that. Uh, I thought he would have bounced to the outside. Well, again, I think Jeff likes to sort of bring the opponents into fields and use that to his advantage. Yeah. Um, whereas Brad with Jake and Ray would probably want to avoid being anywhere well, near Brad, that. Well, Brad wants to get people in arc at range one, so he next turn or he'll hard turn one into that hole there. Mm. And But Jake, Jake, uh, I don't know what he's going to do with Jake there, but uh, he's going to try and stay away behind with his evade and focuses and uh, mm. uh, and all the other things that he gets. The problem with Jake as well is if he gets too close, auto thrusters could potentially become less relevant. Ooh, especially with the shadow caster where it can actually turn. You see that? He's, he's boosted and so he won't be able to hard turn into that hole there. He's going to have to probably do a... Well, let's see. Let's not. I don't want to predict his movement, but he's already pushed to mm. take... Uh, is that to take an evade? No, I'd say that would be a focus token. Yeah, Brad using the signature three D six thing that where we, I think we've uh, established normally the three D six symbol token is considered a focus. Yeah. So he has. Um, <coughs> it looks Pardon like me. he's intentionally boosted and focused, mm. so that next turn Kyle will give him a focus, and then he can take an evade and a target lock or a boost. Yeah. Okay. So he's intentionally done that, and Jake has not stressed. He's just sitting there. So Jake's special ability is, or a pilot ability is, when he takes a focus, he gets a free boost of barrel roll. Mm. It will certainly be interesting to see where they take it from here. Um, I have a feeling that Brad's main aim at the present moment is to try and take out the Y-wing, Y-wings with Ray, considering the amount of dice that he can get into a combat situation on them. At range one, it's four, it, it's three plus one plus a miss. Is that going to hit the rock? Oh, no. Nicely flown by well Jeff. Done, Jeff does Jeff. seem to be able to uh, maneuver around the uh, debris and things like that, and that's why I that's think why he's got those. Into there. That's why he's got those orange movement uh, things because he won the New South Wales regionals <laughs> with a, a list that I suspect we're going to see tonight. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, you, and you can see immediately that, that if a Jeff is obviously trying to keep. Oh, we've got oh a bump. that's a bump. That's a DQ. So <laughs> you think he? Uh, <coughs> me. I have a feeling that mm -hmm. he is going to um, focus on uh, Ray. It certainly looks like that's Jeff's aim at this point, and well, you know it's not the worst decision. Ray is going to be the one that deals the most damage. The A wing may fire off a proc at one point. It's going to get a proc into the back of uh, that shadow caster, I reckon. But that's it the depends. most damage. So it'll you can do. see the gun. Mm. The gun is pointing out that side arc, so it's got quadrants of uh, of the mobile firing arc. So if if Brad's been sloppy, he's going to soft in there and get caught by that stress but then he might bow it no he hasn't he's a smart guy so uh that stress token will get handed out at the st and that's what brad is checking now mm. is he's gonna take a focus and boost forward yeah there it is yeah, he's coming around he's oh no he's boosted and then he'll take a focus to bow roll to his right yep there we go so I've I've been beaten by the list previously. Mm. <laughs> this uh, and that is a stress. It's a dangerous list because it's a combination of something that Brad has been flying for ages now, which is Jake, and a really a heavy really, hitter, a a heavy really hitter, nasty. Yeah. Okay, here goes Ray. I think. Oh no, it's Jake. It's Jake. Jake, which is the two. Hits. Two hits. So he spent the focus. Yep. Uh, and we have. So he'll take an evade. Rolls an evade, spends the evade token yep. to avoid all the damage. And he from left the, the stress on. Um, oh, that's is that range one? That is not range one, is it? Let's see. Let's see how many. Uh, oh no, it's not range one. Otherwise, he would have shot at him. I think he's confirming another range instead. He's going for the Y wing. 
Not, not much, Matty. Haven't missed much yet. Probably not. Uh, just an A-wing shooting at the back of Asage. No hits, though. I can't check it until you get a wrong We can't check it until you get a wrong ring, So he doesn't know if that's through a rock, right? And if they check it, that means that he's decided to use it. Mm. Okay, so and now he gets an extra blank. He'll re-roll two because of Ray's ability. And I believe that's four, is it? Four hits. It uh, looks like it. And, oh, and oh, he's now gone he's, for he's, that Y wing. Okay. Yeah, he's gone for the other Y wing. I don't know why. Because maybe maybe because the the leading one's going to bump. So the the leading one is going to bump next turn probably. So Brad is shooting at the other one so mm. that he knows he can shoot at that again. And focus fire. Oh, focus, you're getting, you get what, one dodge plus two dodge, uh, plus one blank and reroll blanks, right? Okay, so Jeff's talking so yeah, over Jeff's, whether or not to Jeff's doing a beautiful mind, uh, <laughs> we think of all the maths of what he's doing. So he spent the focus. Hmm. Alrighty, so he can avoid one of the damages and take three, and hope that the Y Wing gets there without the focus token now. So that's uh, three shields off one of the thugs, yeah? Right. I believe it's the three shields off one of the thugs. Yeah, Dennis will get there. Yep. yep. Alright, so we've got a Sarge firing now. So that is three, three hits. hits. And Ray takes a shield. Uh, CLT, yep. CLT, first shot, one hit, one, and oh, he gets the Ray. Gets the Ray. Dodges. Wow. Brad Brad dodges That's a first. fantastic ability, nah. isn't it? One, and then you put another one. He even Ray does the, the whole theater of putting it out, doesn't he? This one. All right, so oh. he's he's pumping the TLTs. Here we go. Oh, that's it. So, Ray is losing shields at this point. No, no, it's yeah. It's, oh, get wrecked! <laughs> Brad has announced uh, get wrecked. Um, uh, so he's lost he's lost a couple of shields there, I think. Mm. Another one. Uh, two left. Uh, so Ray has two left. All right. So that would that was a three shield lost turn yeah. for each team, which is not yeah. good for Brad. It's not good for Brad, but at the same time, so the now Jeff, wings... now Jeff is trying to decide because mm. he did a three movement whether he moves that uh, arc mm. of that mobile. Um, but it looks like they've gone a dial, so he's missed his opportunity. So we're going to have bumper armor because that Falcon is going one bank or one forward I would say a bank if anything oh, then again you'd be worried about where that rock could end up with you if he banks in he might oh. well no the Y wing's going to be there right the Y wing is moving so I suppose you're not going to K turn surely not uh, Jeff goes for a bank with that one oh, maybe he's going to move the other one through a rock you wouldn't do that, though. You'd want to shoot with it or block with it. Well, it's still good for shields. And, oh, no, oh. he's got to try and turn away, which works. But nah, he, no, it's oh, it's still going to clip. It's going to clip if he does a one, but we'll see. And Jeff moving his uh, dirty big shadow caster. Mm. So he did agree, and he's doing a focus evade and keeps the stress for the push the limit. Yep. What did he do? Oh! Brad went for a really fast manoeuvre. I have a strong feeling that's a bump. Definitely. But Jeff predicted it. Because I think he was worried about the bump. And so Jeff's mind games. That's the thing I find with Jeff as well. Is he's very good at predicting where you plan to move. When I play against Jeff, occasionally he'll say to me, well... 
I didn't think anyone would do that. Now, he hasn't predicted me, mm. but it's also not a compliment. <laughs> well. So keep the stress, no action. So he didn't dump the stress, gets no actions. Mm, that's but, a very naked ray. But, but um, nothing is in arc for all those extra dice. Mm. But next turn, it will be. So he's going to boost... All right, so Brad's now chasing after the one wing is damaged. Well, he's trying to get out of the mobile firing arc, I reckon. I think it's also a matter of he's going to try and finish that one wing off because uh, Prockets at this point might not actually be that useful against Asajj, well, yeah. but he's hoping that with enough power into one of the y wings, he might knock a y wing off the board. So that that <laughs> that mobile. Oh man, double stressed Ray. Like I. I'm starting to go uh, Jeff's way here. Mm. All right, Brad checking for the Rangers. Yeah, that's range three. Are the range three? Yep. Yeah, there yeah, you go. So <laughs> it's range shots. three. Oh. He uses the target lock to re-roll a die. So it looks like he took a shield. No, he took a he took a uh, took a hole. hole. That was that's the that's damage that, one. Yeah, the damage one. Right, so they are checking closest to closest to confirm. He's trying to hit crit. Brad gets a hit crit off a natural. Brad gets a crit through. Oh, and a crit is going. Now that was on the syndicate fud. Uh, not sure what that crit was. We were talking over Jeff saying. So. Uh, Dennis, can we confirm the crit? Damage sensor array. Cool. Jeff Nash. What? Matt Wood on the the stream chat has written Jeff Nash. I don't. I, is that uh, all right? So he no longer can. That Y wing can no longer perform actions except listed on the damage cards. And then he can roll to get rid of it. Yeah. Jeff is announcing that uh, Jake has no tokens. So he goes. For so he is Jake. shooting at him. Jake takes it. So that's one. And nothing on the second one, unfortunately. So Jeff does get a shield off Jake. Which, in my experience, is hard as shit to get, <laughs> to get shields off that little bugger. This is, this is why, yeah. where Brad's experience when it comes into play as well. is I've seen many people fly A-wings and they blow up very easily. But Brad has that ability to keep Jake alive longer than you'd expect. Yes. Oh, and Jeff has uh, moved his gun to the back oh, so you right. saw he moved the turret so it's now shooting out the back and so what I expect he will do is he is going to do a hard three to the left or, or the right no. either way because he wants to keep Ray so if he goes left he might get Jake sneaking in mm. right or if he goes to his right or yep. to the south of the uh, the board here it will keep Ray in a rear arc. Mm -hmm. He hasn't removed all the tokens, though. That's one of Jeff's things he does. He doesn't remove the tokens. <laughs> yeah, he's not great at clearing board, but, you know, mm. you get that. Um, oh, yeah, now, now that I see that you're pointing... Yep, makes sense, Matty. Ah, Maddie. yes. Makes sense, yes. Matty. <laughs> because he was uh, repeating things over and over, like a, a Russell Crowe hacking things out of his arm. <laughs> So, Matt Wood got home fast after the games tonight, <laughs> cruising by Lake Burley Griffin um, to check his stuff in the lake. I believe if you message him, <laughs> you might be able to buy some of that uh, equipment. Oh, here he's giving it away at a steal. Yeah, yeah like, you just got to ask him. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, in case you were wondering, uh, yeah, message uh, Matt Wood for X-Wing gear. For free, yeah. <laughs> he loves it. He absolutely loves it. He loves it. it. <laughs> Alrighty. So okay, now I can hear the the dice tapping thinking <laughs> mm. of uh, Dunstan. Makes sense. 
I think they're mocking us in there. <laughs> I think we've, 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 been, uh, we've been sprung for not talking about the game so much. Oh, he's a, <laughs> Matt, Matt has corrected us. Uh, all of lake the, Tuggers. Uh, it's oh, in lake okay. That's quite a larger Ooh. lake, and maybe it's sitting on top of one of their many shopping trolleys that are in that lake. So Jeff's done a K maneuver with the Y Wing. That's intriguing. Uh, I think uh, he wants to come back for some more TLT. I have a feeling that's what he's doing. I wouldn't have expected. Or waiting for uh, Jake to wander into uh, Primark. Oh, there you go. Right, it's very soft. Such banks. All right. Focus time on Ray. All right. He's definitely aiming for lay. If it, for lay, Ray. No, for, let's call it lay. Yep. <laughs> so Ray. Uh, is right, that green? Brad comes away with the too hard. That's too hard is not green. No, on a falcon. Not on a falcon unless And so two stress, he's gonna get another stress. I'm assuming at this point he's probably realized the irrelevance of trying to get rid of them. Well he's gotta run away. He's gotta fly forward and I'm not going to fly forward. Oh sorry, four forward, not five forward. So, and I feel like at the moment, if Brad may be aiming for the idea of trying to at least get rid of one of the well, I think he's trying to run away from the Shadowcaster so he can stop being stressed. Mm. Because look at it, double stress on uh, a Falcon with Push the Limit. That's not cool, because it, it, it's only got um, four green maneuvers. The, the, the mm. ones, one bank, one straight... And so one of the things why I'm not a huge fan of putting a push limit on a Falcon because it's not easy to clear. With, for, well, yeah, but Brad seems to have been able to do it up mm. until this point with um, oh, there's a stress target lock. I think uh, that Y wing might be getting the prockets. No, no, I think he's not. too he's too close for prockets at the moment. He's just gone for the primary. Prockets range one. are only range one. Uh, would have been a waste because it only oh, had two hull, of course. So it's gone. So Asage is still untouched, as is the other thug. And Brad has taken three off Ray and one off Jake, just shields. Alright, just shields. Uh, so, <laughs> Sarge fires back at Ray. My horse. Two. Yeah. Last shields. Ray loses the last shields. Uh, now we're into Hull. Now we're into the interesting crit mania. Mm -hmm. Although, if Ray can get a Sarge in front arc at range one, it will. Uh, a Sarge will be using evade tokens and uh, stress tokens as evades. And the two dice that it gets. Oh, that's two more off Ray. Ray's not looking healthy. Oh, she's suffered a bit of damage now. And now Brad really needs to make sure that she stays in this. Because even with the procket still available, Jake is not great as a lone wolf. So leaving... Not, not the, against a shadow caster either. No. Because it's got a... It can hand out... If you get in that wrong arc, you hand it a stress. That is... Murder. Even against the Y Wing, where it's got a TLT at the present moment, that can just start chewing through him. So, you watch it go up gonna, against either of those just two. just going to pot away, mm. yeah? An A Wing really needs a support group, or it will blow up easily. Alright, so Jeff looks like he's just trying to bring the Shadow Caster back around. So well, that's all the Shadow Caster's going to do. It's just going to do threes. Mm. Soft or hard, so that he can move that um, gun around. Yeah. Oh, that's going to fit. Oh, did that hit the rock? No, it avoids it happily. One stress. All right, so Brad he, he's done his two green forward to clear one stress. To get some focus. You're just here to play the game. <laughs> Everyone else is here to talk to <laughs> Alrighty. So I have a strong feeling that Brad's going to aim for the other Y-Wing at the very least. 
because the Prockers because it's have closer, a, closer, and I think the Prockers have got a better chance of taking out the Y wing. Well, well absolutely, uh, one of eight dice. No, mm. none of this janky crap exactly. uh, with uh, the uh, mobile firing arc. Mm. And Asage, Asage is still got enough that well, she can just take a Procket and would still yeah. be able to fly away from it. Well, we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see that uh, that Falcon one soft green to come around to clear the stress and then yeah. boost and it's going to be a point blank of that Y wing uh, the white Jeff will head the Y wing in yeah I feel like he's going to come down yeah, to down that sort middle. of like in between those two asteroids yeah. there uh, which means he's going to come up behind Ray if Ray so goes in any direction at the moment I would say the game is currently in Jeff's favour uh, Dennis can we have the list quickly as well alrighty Oh, he's yeah. got the Ricardo to shoot in case anything gets behind him as well. Mm. So, so he can absolutely drop that for more stress on. Oh, them and, and Ray, uh, Ray will be able to unload those homing missiles when he gets a chance. I didn't realise he'd taken the homing yeah, missiles there as well. Yeah, he always takes those homing missiles because oh, yeah. they're anti-defender homing missiles. Yeah, okay. Thanks, uh, thanks, Dennis. Yeah, but it doesn't always fly around the edge. It's a lot slower than that. So yeah, that that, that could uh, if he can get them off before. Ray meets her demise, that's going to do some damage as well. Well, it'll help. Absolutely. Uh, shooting at uh, that big, dirty shadow caster. Mm, because definitely. you can't... It, the Obviously, the Y-Wing can't take an evade. Oh, there he goes, running away. Oh, that's an interesting direction. I would have thought he would have actually come right down there, but... Nah. Now, now you think about it, he's just going to try and go in a circle. But... I suppose bring the ships to him yes. and keep the Y-Wing out of the potential of being shot by an A-Wing if it turns around hard enough. But at the same time, I feel like Jake, it's depending on what Brad's done. Oh, he's gone one forward. <laughs> so he's done. Right, so he's he the stress, kept the focus. Yep. And now... Oh, not in range of a target lock. That means there won't be any firing between those two either. Well, now he'll he might boost, I reckon. Yeah, he's still waiting on them in, on the action. As Jeff tries to uh, spin an evade token. It's fast enough to super fast. I hate that. I've always been very like getting <laughs> no action. Wow, we should do something right. Brad takes an evade for safety's sake. And Jake comes forward. And here we go. We are going to get Jake getting stress in the face. So Brad's because actually rethinking the, uh, the push possibility. Yeah. Here. So if you see the... Uh, oh, Red Maneuver! Going too forward is the best thing I could do. Doing it green is bad. So he has taken a... Focus to get a barrel roll. Barrel roll focus. Focus and barrel roll. Focus and barrel roll. Oh, of course, yeah. You're not Dennis. <laughs> that reference was uh, Dennis's first game with A-Wings. He barrel rolled all over the place, uh, despite it not having that ability. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was my first game. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis has just added himself as he's a serial uh, A-Wing barrel roller without focus tokens. <laughs> and so it's all right. We still love you, Debo. Speak for yourself. Um, <laughs> yep. So he takes a shot at a side with Jake, two hits, and the side heavily goes. No, nope, not taking them. You can't get me. And so Sarge returns the favor and goes. I'm going to shoot you back. A nice free hits after the focus. Oh. An evade. An evade token. Um, Guys, the shield. Oh, and this is where. Oh no! This is where the Y wing. Oh no! Misses on the first one. Miss. I can't do it until after I spend the second shot. I can do it on either shot. I just can't spend the target. You can spend the target. Just a quick rules so qualification with the aggro mech. Right, cool. I'm not doing it on the 12th. This is the second attack. 
I'll do it now. Fuck it. Focus, get a target lock, spend it. Yep. Oh, so Jeffrey acquires the target lock. For one, oh. and Jake Any dodges. That was bad shot, Y Wing. So the Y Wing had a chance to finish up Jake with the TLTs and doesn't get and a single not. hit. That's terrible. That is um, that is yeah. not what you want right now. Well, it's it's who do you hate the least, really? A Y Wing <laughs> with a TLT. No one likes that, and no one likes Jake with all these tokens, right? I know what so I really. I know what I'd prefer to go up against. <laughs> That'd be the oh. Y Wing. And Jake is double stressed, mm. which means that Jake is going to have to work to get rid of everything effectively to be able to be out there to actually line himself up for a procket he's effectively yeah, he's lost the ability to fire the procket at this point yeah and considering his direction of movement i don't think Asaj is really going look to look at all those shields on up. jeff's ships it's uh i feel like all 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 that needs to happen now is for Asaj to block jake and the Y wing to stay close enough for a TLT, like stay in the range for TLT. And then it's on. And it's then on. as long as Jeff gets the two shots with the TLT, Jake's right, gone, and now they have to do is have finish up. Let's right. see if you're right. Let's see if you're right. All right, so he's so going to yeah, bring he's moved the, the, he's moved the, he's moved the TLT manga. Yeah. So it's still going to be definitely in range, no matter where Jake goes at this point. And Saj yeah, gone for the block. Flies for the block. Now Brad Ivan needed to do a really fast maneuver which could potentially risk going off the board. Oh, then again he could turn nicely here. Now, and avoid now he's it. thinking about using an action to move his uh, his turret, his uh, moving turret, I believe. Mm. That appears to be an evade. And he's target locking. Or is that a focus? Okay. Too hard. Alright, Ray comes around. Hopefully to try and a get boost, some shots in. A boost. Getting that arc and out onto a And push the surge. limit for what? A focus. focus. And the okay. A wing yeah. is not clearing that, so it goes exactly as I predicted right there. Jumping. Boom. Now that's that's exactly what Jeff wanted because at the end of the but day, dumps, the TLT it dumps the stress. Mm. So he doesn't cop an extra stress. Uh, no, because I don't think the shadowcaster took one. So no, I think the shadowcaster is pointing behind uh, the. Turret's pointing, set, uh, <laughs> pointing east. All right, so what do we got? We've got... Uh, he's thinking about... The he's got one hit, one. whether he spends the... Doesn't spend it, does takes not. the one. Jeff evades. Shadow cast returns fire. And ah. takes one. No, he's... Ah. he's Sorry. <laughs> uh, so you dodged that? I did. Yep. Alright, yep. so he has dodged all of that. He had to spend his focus. Yep, Jeff forgot. Oh, he Jeff forgot, and therefore... I thought it must have... He's forgotten. And he's he's doing the locking move of... Uh, no, he forgot. <laughs> oh, and he did too. Brad knew it. Yeah. And I, Brad was... Loving it too. He gave him a minute, mm. and then he went, yeah, right, and then he shot with Ray, as you would do. He wasn't, he didn't rush it. Spend the focus, get a title, spend it. Yep. All right, so TLT1. Oh, might be irrelevant. Irrelevant. TLT2. Oh, dead. That is how, just as that's, I said, that's get that one wing into position, fire that TLT twice, and as long as Jake can't defend both, he was gone. And there was, he had yeah. no tokens, he had no advantage. He was gone. Yeah, we don't like Jake. Do you like Jake? Oh, I, I like, I appreciate him, but when he dies, oh, that's pretty cool. I there like there is a satisfying taste. I should have taste on the palate. Dennis's <laughs> rules, he would have barrel rolled. <laughs> um, so I think that it is now a matter of time before uh, Jeff well, look, grinds out this falcon. Look, 
the Y-Wing just needs to come back around. In the meantime, Asage should be able to do some damage, even block Ray. Yeah, it's going to mm. come through soft or... or yeah, it's going to come through soft into um, Ray's and, path. And, and Ray's going to bump it. And just waiting until Jeff has all the guns to effectively fire. Oh. Yep, there we go. There's the block. Take a bunch of tokens. Is it successful? Oh, oh he switches. I wonder if... Uh, he switched to the back, I feel, because he's worried if Ray does go fast enough, she can still get past the Shadowcaster. Yep. And if that happens, you want to stress the crap out of it. Absolutely. Oh, oh the <laughs> make that is worse. He has dropped the debris because he's like, look, if Brad makes it, he makes it. If he doesn't, well... Either like way, if he makes it, he's taking extra stress. If he doesn't make that's it, it's in a nasty spot. Oh no! no, no Brad just done bumped. the one, yeah. but so he's cleared the stress, and he'll get a focus to really push the point of Ray. Will have to make a certain maneuver now, or she's going to run into that. Jeff's done that Why in a really has clever. Why the focus come off? Are they back to dials? Are they? Well, there's nobody who can shoot, so. Oh, and he's changed his yet, so no one can shoot. Because the Y Wing has no shot, and the two ships are touching. <coughs> so. Brad's going to have to try and turn away from that debris field. He's going to do a two hard but into the, the right. Do you think he'll avoid it? Or th oh, no, oh, The man. question at the same time as well is, God. is he it's going to be able to... Well, Jeff doesn't even need the Sarge to fire at this point. He needs a Sarge to keep blocking. Because if the Y-Wing comes around and starts TLT-ing Ray... It should pump in one hit mm. per turn, probably. <laughs> and At if lucky, too, and Jeff just starts doing the damage, gets a Sarge into a perfect position once it's damaged enough, and they both fire and finish it. Yeah, it's not looking good for old Brad. Before he gets his pockets off, yep. he's uh, pretty strong. Okay. And yep. he's just done a, a short green, probably yep. a Brad. Two, a two green forward, which he can't clear. Brad is oh, man. banking past, but he's going to end up on a debris. He's just taken the risk of the debris. Now, the cargo ship, does it count as debris? It doesn't count as a rock, does it? It counts as debris, so every other purpose of it is debris field. Um, you roll for the crit, you take the stress. You still can shoot. And he avoided the crit there. Now he's shooting at the Y wing because he's got the arc on that one. He wants and to he take that extra. Blank, and he'll re-roll. Two hits. Two hits. He's got twits. And Jeff. And he Jeff takes take the two to lose the shield. He wants every bit of possibility to take um, out Ray at this he's point. Got, uh, he's got more shields than a... He wants R4 to go off as well, so he can get the target lock on the TLTs. Two hits and a focus. Wow, it's a fantastic little droid. Mm. So he's now spending the target lock he required in the first TLT. To re -roll the, the first hit went through because it has more hits than a... Oh, oh. Blanks <laughs> out and takes two TLT shots. Now, can Asajj finish it here? Uh, is Asajj... Asajj is pointing the wrong oh, way. Ah, Asajj is pointing the wrong way. She doesn't actually have the back end. I'm surprised Jeff didn't change it at the end phase there, though, then. Uh, he did not do a three, he did a two green forward, so he's not allowed. Oh, uh, right, correct. Alright, so the Y-Wing comes in for the kill. Look out. Well, it doesn't want to be close, does it? It doesn't want to be close, but I have a feeling he figures Ray's going to keep moving forward, and he doesn't want the Y-Wing too close, so if Ray moves fast enough, Jeff's still got TLT. Yeah, no, he won't. So he's going to um, do a one soft to the right. Yeah, which might actually which is green. keep him safe. And it should keep him in range one. Oh, yeah, that looks like range one from here, but this screen is very deceiving. It is. Uh, now, Sarge does have a, a, a aim on a ray, though, so Sarge will get some shots. Ray takes the evade as well. Alright, so he's... 
shoots out the back of the Y wing. And did you notice that an extra stress did not go on Ray? Mm. Someone forgot. Oh, it's out of range too. Two and a crit on the Syndicate Fug. Listen. Venice will flash it up on the screen. Yep. Stun pilot. Ooh. No bumpy bumpy. Well, it's Jeff. He doesn't tend to bump things. Although, that, uh, that thing that he dropped... Let me send her Ray on Ray. Ray has taken two, I believe I heard. There's a damage sensor array for reference. So, That's a bitch this, this is TLT territory here. If, uh, uh, Y-Wing does not have the shot, though, so... Tell him he's dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> nice castle reference, Jeff. Um, so, uh, as we look forward to the next game, uh, <laughs> is, is it too premature to write? Uh, oh, look, to write I, I honestly think a decent TLT shot from the Y wing, but the Syndicate Thug, Sarge doesn't finish it first. The Syndicate Thug only has two uh, two hit points. Yeah, but the, the Syndicate Thug, I reckon, if he gets out of distance and stays out of arc, could survive happily. Um, it might not have much evade, but Ray might not even aim for that yet. And no, Ray's probably going to move away from it enough. Oh, it's even taken a target lock to confirm. Yeah, MOV, MOV doesn't matter. Oh. Jeff. Um, coming Ray right needs up. to come forward. Now, he's oh, thinking about... He's, he's wondering... He's going to use oh, a he's and he has the two. mobile to the front. He's turned it. He's thinking Ray's going to come right down in there so he can stress her. And this has happened. Two forward or one no, bank? No, Brad's banking away. But is that in? The, that's going to be in the front arc still anyway, which means the mobile arc's got him. Be. And so he's going to get, try and get. He's going to try and get rid of that crit. He's got a. He's got a crit. He can't take actions. Uh, Dennis. Do damage you sensor him? array. Damage sensor. Oh, damage sensor. Damage sensor array. Cheating bastards. <laughs> Taking d -bell. the commentary team got no, that we, one. Uh, he's going to throw us out of his store. <laughs> <laughs> Try and fix the sensor array. Does not. Does not. No, cannot Dennis. spend the focus. <laughs> Dennis, can you tell Brad we're sorry for pointing that out? We're sorry. I tell him that. <laughs> uh, Dennis, you can say that one of the commentators was sorry for that. One of them was sorry, the other one was <laughs> uh, sorry, not two shields. One shield and spend your stress yes. token. Yep. This is what I've done. I have <laughs> um, Brad so making his final back. words. As Jeff fires with a search. Rolls the cocked to. First Kenny Baker, then Princess Leia, then Brad. Oh boy. 2016, when will it end? That's right. Oh, raise on one. Um, now, I'm not sure if they confirmed the range before we realised the damage sensor was in play, but does the Y Wing have a shot? No, it does not, by the looks of that, if they're grabbing dials. <sighs> Jesus. Look at that. Jeff oh. moves the turret. I would say then that if Jeff is moving the turret, he's going to curve back in. No. So it's going to be a right curve, I reckon. I reckon. he's going to go straight or soft to the right. Yeah, but why would you turn the... No, yeah, because if he if that Shadowcaster goes soft to the right and Ray goes forward, you're spraying your arc into that corner. Although, where the hell is Ray going? Is it going to hard turn to the right? Mm. First of January. When, what's, what's that about, Keith? When will 2016 oh. end, dude? Uh, <laughs> Someone get the drum kit. <laughs> okay. He's on the uh, ball. He's on uh, the ball. Smart man. Smart man. All right. Yep. <laughs> We're rich too with all those X-wing ships for sale. Oh, Keith. Keith's only just. Oh, Keith. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was uh, Matthew. Matthew Wood. 
Oh, he's K turn. Ah, uh, Badum. We got the Badum. It's a Tish Keef. Okay, he oh, has K turn. Does he have K-turn. Arc? I'm turning my head again. Why am I doing that? <laughs> you do so, that. You do this whole look yeah. and have a look and try and figure out. And, uh, oh, I think that. One crit. One crit from Ray. Nope. Not oh, gonna and because it, it's range three. Yes. Uh, does he yep. not get to spend the stress as a. Oh, range three. Spend the target. Oh, yep, spend the target lock to get. Two. Jeff's ruthless efficiency is on display. Oh, here. that is game that one. That is game one. All right, game one confirmed. Okay. Jeff is Victor. No, no, now we'll take a few seconds, of course, here. <laughs> While the gentlemen pack up the initial list, Brad clears his I chips will, off the board. Uh, <laughs> I, I have two cards here. I have two cards as well. I don't know which is which. I'm going to flip up this one in my right hand for Brad. And Brad, Scott will be playing Scum... Oh, oh, scum and Villainy. Scum and Villainy. All right. And, and I think that was a... Uh, oh, fuck. From the room. So... Scum, and what is uh, Jeff playing? Jeff has got... Imperial. Imperial. Jeff is Imperial. All righty. Which basically means, in the event of Brad winning the next game, it will mean that Jeff... Uh, Brad will then have an Imperial list, and Jeff will have a Rebel list for the final game tonight, if we get to game three. Well. Uh, so, Dennis, were we kicking off straight away, or we got a few minutes before we start? Uh, a couple of minutes, they just get set up. All right, no worries. So we got a couple of minutes. Uh, so, um, so, analysis of the game. Is, analysis uh, of the game. Uh, uh, stress was the key. Um, X-Wing was the winner, Mick, I, I think. X-Wing was the winner. <laughs> X-Wing was the winner. <laughs> X wing was the winner. <laughs> X wing was the winner. So the, the, uh, stra- the stress control was important. Tell, tell Brad the green doesn't actually really do anything on the can, by the way, Dennis. And uh, the munitions that Brad had that he did ne- not get off, uh, brutal because both of them were. Oh, well, they're not expensive cards, but um, they're very effective. It's a on shame that he didn't get any off on Assage. Yeah. Mm. Look, I think it, 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 it's surprising to see that Jake didn't get Prockets off in this game, because that's normally his big mainstay. Yeah, well, it was, um, I believe it was a stress. Ah, here we go. So, oh. with Brad. Brad has IG-88B, which I believe is the um, uh, boost. Oh, no, it's the gunner. That's mm. the gunner one. Uh, advanced sensors, uh, heavy laser cannon. Yep. Glitter stim. Oh, glitter stim. Uh, oh, he's used the IG88 um, uh, title card and auto thrusters. Now he's done the IG2000 title because he's got IG88 yeah, on my IV66. So the hound's tooth. So heavy laser cannon. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that means that the. Um, uh, the Houndstooth can take the same ability as IG-88B. Zuckus, Dengar, and Shield Upgrade. So, uh, quite an interesting little... So, you want to go through Jeff's? Yeah, so Jeff here is... Oh, it's, it's one of... If you've played against him before, you'll recognise this as one of his favourite Imperialists. So, we've got Chirino, which is, you know, just dangerous as it is. Predator for re-rolls. Darth Vader for, hey, I'm going to deal damage to you by hurting myself. Um, interesting fact, I've seen games where Jeff has actually blown up Vader to win a game. Uh, to you, blown up Sherno. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, we've also got Gunner for the re-rolls if he misses. Hotshot Copilot is... Hotshot Copilot. Yep. Uh, that forces... Ah, uh, forces attack the spend of the focus. Spend the focus. I'm just checking out what uh, Dengar crew does so when attacking you may re-roll an attack die if the defender is a unique pilot mm. you may re-roll Get up to two. two dice so it's super predator Zuckus now, you take um, a bunch of stress to force um, now if we can just have those loose back quickly again Dennis just for a few seconds uh, so we've also got the engine upgrade on Chirino to push him forward quickly. Boost. Uh, and then re-add with the standard setup for defenders lately which is Duke, TIE X7, and Twin Ion Mark II. Duke is going to take that 
that evade token from TIEX7 happily and use that to change the results. So, uh, Brad, Brad's um, uh, hand suit, which I've never used, I'm just looking up Morala Eval. You can perform cannon secondary weapon attacks against ships inside your auxiliary arc, mm. which is the 50, the halfway arc, which Absolutely. is fantastic. I'm just, uh, IG-88B is, it's the, if you don't hit, after you perform an attack down here, you may perform an attack with an equipped secondary weapon. Mm. So it's going to be a fantastic little... Uh, look, I, I hate to say it against Brad, but I think, honestly, it's the tried and true list of Jeff that's going to probably come out on top on this well, one. Rack, it's quite a... Uh, it won the New South Wales Regionals this year at, at, at Penrith. <clears throat> there's, uh, there's your answer, mine's torn, by and, the way. And what, yeah. uh, what, what I've seen Jeff do before with this list is use Rack mm. to shoot at one target and then predator the, an attack dice to mm. try and get a not attack, uh, a, a, a hit, Make sorry, down to a focus or a blank, so that it forces, say, IG-88 to spend a focus token. Mm. Then, gunner kicks in and then shoots at uh, the houndstooth. Yep. And uh, using predator to try and hit this time to ban burn its focus token because rear arm or chono is at alt skill eight. Mm. And I believe Brad is at um, uh, six and six and six, I think. Mm. So now it's gone quiet in the room. So I'm I'm not sure what's happening there. So. Toilet break. Toilet break. Righto. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, there you go. There's uh, that's a board. That's X Wing. That is X Wing. If you, quite, for those I, of you playing at home who've never played X Wing before, this is in fact what it looks like. I quite <laughs> like the uh, I quite like the green screen uh, uh, Falcon. Well, yeah, uh, this is an upgrade topic. from the last one. If you were watching the last game, where you had a sort of more cartoony looking one, we've got the more official one on loan from Disney yeah, at the moment. Yeah, so and that's, uh, they've removed the door that fell on Harrison Ford. Well, that bloody Sandy. door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I, I, I hope that they finished filming episode 8 uh, so the uh, sad passing of Carrie Fisher I, I think the reports are out at the moment that she did get to finish the filming for her scenes um, she did complete everything that they needed for her before her unfortunate passing away as mm. far as the news reports it's came out it's, it's upsetting um, and look she was a great actor so I was just going to clean up the fucking asteroids I'm like not this set I'm the dad Jim <laughs> Oh, did they set up asteroids already? They have. Man, That's he's a concern. Like he's like a shoe. I to make him. <laughs> Advanced sensors IG with... You know, Jeff's re-announcing the list. Let us stem. Interesting. Heavy laser can and IG thing. That's a fascinating oh, yes. fruit bottle we've got there. Well, oh, Jeff's going over the lists. Yeah. It's his thinking nice. bottle. Oh, that's yeah, but as like if he's gonna make me real lots, he's fine. I think we got a whole bunch of people going. Yeah, they did all the layer stuff, and uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, as Matt's pointed out on the chat feed, the uh, it burns all the focuses and the re add uh, like to push the limit and mm. uh, can uh, well move do its bloody three, four, five uh, green K turn, take a focus, take an evade, use the juke, maybe do a barrel as well, and it. Uh, Rack also, on each attack, he can use Vader to sprint in the damage into... Mm. But it does... Um, it comes at the price of damage as well, and you've got to effectively use that without getting to a point where your ship will get easily blown up. Well, so, with enough focus... I think, uh, I think, I think though, you... What do you do? You do a damage... Is it you do a damage... To, uh, you take two damage, and you... Um, that would have been interesting. I haven't used Darth Vader before. After you pull an attack, you may suffer two damage to cause that ship a crit. So with IG, once they shoot through those shields, he'll be doing that. He'll he'll pile the crits into that IG for sure. Uh, Riyad has Duke. Right. Matty? Has Ryan got PTL or Duke? Ah. I assume Duke. Duke. Yeah, Duke. Sorry, I yeah. might have announced it as PTL, but it's Duke. Yep. There we go, just confirm. serious aggressive dial. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Brad uh, having a look Brad at the aggressor. Brad is discovering how an IG works on, on a, a game that matters. Uh, let's have a look at... Do I have its dial here? I don't have its dial in front of me. 
It can do a signals loop, a three no, signals three, though, which is pretty good. Mm, it's a white. And can do advanced, he's got advanced sensors, so he'll be able to take a focus or an evade. Absolutely. Um, before he moves. It does so, have one. In case he's going to bump. So the key, I think the key is to try and bump Shuno um, to limit Vader's effect and the Hotshot Pilot's effect. If I remember correctly, though, Cherno has a has a bit of danger of bumping being bumped into as well, though. No, Cherno is uh, um, he can turn one of his focuses into a crit. You're thinking of Oiken. Ah, oh, yes, Oik Oiken's the ramming battery. That's right. Um, the ramming battery. It's, uh, yeah, Cherno range one to two changes the focus to a crit result, and we're off. Riyad moves first. That's right. Yep. Then. Uh, Ralo Val, the hound's tooth. I guess I'll focus. Can I do that? Yes. <laughs> but that's uh, that's what you might want to do there, Brad. Just uh, I'm not sure Brad understands this scum list that he has built. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not going to lie. The hound's tooth and the IG88 aggressor is they they both. Difficult ships to master, and I've learnt the hard way. <laughs> You've learnt the hard way with the uh, Hounds Two. But it's not exactly the greatest ship, regardless of its abilities. So he's taken. Like he's taken. Yeah, like two minutes. <laughs> Fuck, we're playing right now. <laughs> it's not X-wing, Brad. That's uh, LCG. Totally. Okay, so <laughs> I want to boost. All right, Jeff deciding on a boost with the decimator. He chooses not to, and they go back to the old dials, being out of range. Because he would have put himself in range of two of them. Yeah, and considering that the uh, Morello can fire in the entire front area of its ship with its... The 50, the halfway... Uh, mm, it's got the full front Auxiliary end, arc, yeah. 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 Use free hounds two for maximum effect. I don't know if I'd fly free hounds two for mine's dawn. That's uh, a bit extreme. But um Does that upload the Having said that, that could be interesting depending on the points value to run free. Oh, do you think this game time? will go to time? Do you think any of these games will go to time? I don't they're think both, this, I don't they're both very swift players. Mm. <laughs> What I was thinking, commenting on Mindstorm's comment, free Houndstooth at a Clone Wars event where they all have uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> Houndstooth title to drop out Z95s afterwards. You love that. You love that was that so cup. good. I just never could get it to work. Oh, wow. Uh, you couldn't make it work. So the Clone, the Clone Wars event that uh, uh, Nick is talking about is the uh, event that 3D6 puts on, which is... Too busy sort of shit. Uh, you can all of the unique oh, rules it. are ignored, so you can yeah, fly three Darth Vaders or uh, you know, you fly three Whispers if you whatever. want to. Whatever, yeah. Um, no, you can't because he's a. Oh no, you can only fly two. Points. I think I fly yeah. fine two before. Yeah, forty-two points, but uh, or forty-six depends what you're flying. But uh, it, mm. your hound's tooth uh, um, with your oh. Nash. What's Nash it called? Pup. Natasha Pup. Nash to Pup. I Nash think Nash it's to um, the last time I played against that, I torped it in round one. Oh, and, man. And, uh, I'm down not going to lie, I was a little dirty. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, you tried to face down four bombers. Yeah, it wasn't the three smartest move I'd made. Three with plasma torps. Yeah, that was a great day. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it was for some of us. <laughs> so, Cherno, so uh, Brad is going after the um, yeah. Riyadh by the looks of it. Thanks, Romper. <laughs> it worked so well for you and take the shot, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> right. Was that that tournament? <laughs> oh, that, that's his Glitterstim <laughs> on the top there. That's a fancy um, looking Glitterstim. He needs it. Is that through a rocket for all Yes. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's through a rock. That is definitely through a rock. Should He's not shooting. Predator. Has he got Predator? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, so Jeff's actually got the hit, even though he didn't actually want it. My turn? <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> oh, Brad, Brad, Brad. 
Heavy laser cannon into into defender. Four dice. Here we go. This is what you pay for. You pay the money for the. Let's see if you're actually doing damage anyway. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the guy, Dango. The guy, Dango. The guy, Dango. <laughs> <laughs> and he's re-rolled the focus there, by the looks of it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Interesting, because we have the aggressor to go mm. next, also with a heavy laser cannon, I believe, if my memory serves. So Jeff has to pick just how much of his tokens he's going to spend and to how many, many he wants to keep. Well, he's going to evade two of them. Yeah. Oh, he's... Well, he wanted to keep his duke, right? No, but... he spent it all. Yeah, so it's a naked... Defender... Oh, Defender takes three. No way. Takes four? No, he must have rolled one of eight. He did. Yeah, there we go. Riyad shoots back with nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, no... Yeah, so it wasn't Gunner, it was um, the... Yeah, 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 so the the, the first, um, the Hound's Tooth, burn all the tokens. Yep. And then the Aggressor pumped in four hits, only one evade, that was three points. Glitter Sim is now gone. Didn't get to use Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's Riyad. Awesome. No, I dream of that. I oh, dream that is, of that, that is into a defender. That is what I. Yep, that that is a personal moment of fame. All you defender Christ. fans out there, and Dennis, yeah, eat your defenders. No one likes your defenders. <laughs> that's what I think about defenders right now. And you know what? I hate to say it, but I really want to see that Riyad blow I up. I think now. they're like um. <laughs> People who like defenders, they're like Trump people. Oh you, you, my you, god! Okay, well that's gone a bit far. Hang on a minute here. Like <laughs> Oh, I don't know. That's a hive of scum and villainy, uh, Dennis. We took the game away from us. On the other side of the wall. On the other side of the wall. Eat That's a bag a, of dicks, Riyad. You know I, what, Matty, I couldn't no, agree I believe, more. I believe uh, Dennis is suggesting that my wide-ranging statement that people who play Defenders are Trump lovers, I, did, I don't think you like that. Look, I'm not going to lie, it was going a bit far. Yeah, it's going a bit far? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, I do think that uh, defenders are quite... Uh, you love them or you hate them. Oh, look, the sad thing is, I can love a defender when I'm flying it, you know? I can love it, I can I enjoy the taste, the texture of it. I don't fly them, I don't fly them. Oh, we just got swiped. Yeah, we got swiped. Hey, we got swiped left too. Hang on a minute here. Hey, hey. I'm worth more than that, Dennis, come on. That's not touched. And Riyadh's almost dead. Oh, this we could. This is this is cool. Oh, <laughs> comment from uh, Maddie there. A personal dig at you, David. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, um, uh, I noticed that uh, Matthew Wood is uh, trying to manipulate the anti swearing rules on uh, uh, Twitch. There, well done, Matt. Uh, uh, Matthew, yes, Ben did do that and that is why I don't like them it's one of the reasons I don't uh, my t-shirt is a, a a constant reminder see yep grudge match too <laughs> cool. alright what does it say you can't see it I underestimated the power of the dark side twice <laughs> defenders defenders and the Palpatine cheating all the cheating that the Empire can do and my glass cannons my glass jaws cannons of protractor fighters couldn't beat Ben Lawking's defenders. Really? Yeah. You didn't already know either of them. Do you just not run Scum style? No, I have head hunters and forks and <laughs> I think I almost won it. Brad um, Brad mentioning that he literally only so bought his ships that he's flying tonight. Wow. So So uh that Dennis, added, added. Dennis, you might mention to Brad that he could have borrowed ships off pr pretty much anybody. Like you, me. <laughs> I had right. my entire collection yeah, I've here. Got, yeah. He's going to buy them at some point, right? <laughs> Brad's an excuse. <laughs> I was going to buy them at some point. Really? Why? <laughs> a tax write-off. I was doing oh, research in the... Uh, <laughs> product research, even though they've been out for a while and I've probably <laughs> seen everything that's come out. Uh, I can't advance census because I'm stressed. Correct. 
Oh, that would be the added insult, but he literally just bought the ships tonight yeah, and then yeah, beats Jeff with them in the second game. Uh -oh. Oh. Is he going to fly off the board? That's an uh, interesting direction, Brad. You know, you know that's the edge that you're flying towards, right? And evade. Evades. He didn't want to get shot, Because, now, because Shono uh, burns focus tokens. Uh, of course. Not that Shono's got a shot at that. He's nah. I don't think it'll be going. Gonna, he's going to shoot at Houndstooth, I reckon. Mm. He's going to come in nice and close. Yeah. If that bump, that's not going to bump Riyad. Would have been better to borrow them off, Jeff. <laughs> hey, Jeff, I'm going to borrow the ships uh, that beat you in yeah. game two, mate. <laughs> Although this sudden chain of events might make things well, harder no, for him. See, the initial exchange went very well, but now both of Brad's ships are pointing the wrong way. Well, that's a lot of... That's a lot of dice, life. and he's predated that, and he's turned something into a crit, because he can, and this is where... This is where the Houndstooth sucks, oh, in look. that it, it has uh, only one defense dice, although Shano has none. The other thing is, it needs... It doesn't have enough maneuver to come back around, so the aggressor really needs to get back in there and do the damage of... Brad's going to lose yes. that Houndstooth. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I'm not sure it can K-turn, actually. I'll check that. Uh, uh, no, I believe not. I, I believe from my remember, uh, from my remembrance of my days of from suffering your remem with the house is, is that a word? It's a, yeah. it's a word now. It's a word. <laughs> yeah, it cannot K-turn. It can stall, though. It, it could stall, stall, but I don't know if that's going to be... Well, it might help because it'll stop Juno shooting at him. True. But then it'll just... Sit, well, yeah, Vader. He hasn't. He hasn't Vader anything yet, has he? No, no. he hasn't. He right. wants because uh, Vader calls his crits. Mm. He wants uh, crits going. Mm. Okay, back to Dom. How's two has the turning circle of the camera? <laughs> Oh, Maddie, one of these days, mate, I'm getting you into the commentary box with me. I reckon you will have some beautiful words. And you can get around that Twitch swearing. Uh, Stall is probably a good move here because it gets them in front yeah. of you or bumped. Yeah, good point. But then uh, uh, I think uh, he'll, he'll do one stall, mm. take the stress token because mm. it's a red. Uh, that churn will bump him, but then... Jeff's just going to wait. He's going to go one forward again. He's going to wait for that houndstooth to move. So yes, it is a good move to cause a bump, but then it causes that. Riyad is going to K turn behind. Uh, it'll do a five K turn behind Cherno, mm. and then shoot at houndstooth at range three. So if he stalls, oh no, he's bumped. Oh, Rhea just goes straight into Juno. That's an interesting... It's weird. I thought, I thought you were on the money with the K-turn there, but... Uh, maybe he's worried about that rock. Maybe. Or he wanted to delay so he can come three soft around next turn. Ooh, or defender to block... Yeah. Block the... Chirino into place. So it's a matter of what Brad decided to ah, do. Of course. Genius. Oh, comes around. And avoids the debris. Probably well expected done. Jeff to try and keep Chirino into a perfect shooting position. Fantastic. And Chirino is going to bump, do you think? I think he was planning on the bump so that Chirino could keep the shot potential oh. and not suddenly have... Oh, no, no, we're wrong. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, wow, this is... Uh... Uh, so that's why I bumped with Riyadh, so that um, you see that it's out of Ark of Hound's Tooth. Oh, nice oh, bump, Jeff. Get wrecked. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> Judge. <laughs> okay, here comes Rear Admiral Cherno. He's re-rolling the cock dice. Predator. Hit it, hit it, hit it, and is that a miss? I think that might have been. And I think Vader's going to lay in a crit here because he's got time. he's taken um, three shields and a hit. If 
Um, yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, I definitely don't have a yeah. I don't know. I don't think you have a I just spend that. He did not spend Vader. I'm surprised. Waiting for the opportune moment. Oh, oh console okay. fire. Oh. Thankfully, he can action that away fairly quickly, but... Oh, he did Vader him. He did Vader him. The uh, Shono shields went down a two there. Uh, and so he's Vader him. Hence the crit? And there, Yeah, because Vader takes two damage oh. to lay him one crit. Mm. So... And we're going to see a bunch of that. Oh, and he comes rear. Just plays relentless, isn't it? Mm. I honestly thought that opening move had sealed where we were going with this, but Jeff sort of corrected himself up and kept mm. it on top of... That's the problem with the house shift, though, is it could get a decent shot and could be in a good position, but if you don't reline that thing up He's to keep boost. going... Is he going to boost on an angle? Yep, well done. All right, so the aggressor's going to come back in. He needs to shoot at Sherno, get some hits into it, or knock out Riyad. Righty. Oh, he, he stalled. stops. Nice. Well, nice. not so nice when the Chirino's coming around for you, no, though. That's a bump. Is it a bump? Is it a bump? We will find out. Got to pull the ships off to see. Next turn, that was in fact oh, a full stop. No way. How horrible for you. I cannot. Alright, Rack in the roller. Comes off by. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Goes off. Shit, shit, shit. shit. <laughs> oh, that Brad takes happen? a console fire damage. Fuck, now I die before I shoot. Yep. Uh, I'm going to apply Predator. Alright, Predator. Alright, Predator. Alright, Predator. Jeff going to see if he can actually get the shots it in. It doesn't have many hit points, does it? Dodges one of those. No, he dodges a damage. Oh, and he's gonna sh he's gonna be able to shoot. What kind of what kind of crit is it, Dennis? It's I'm sure the card's coming. Damage compared. Oh, All right, no. so power skill zero, which actually uh, after the round, so the yeah. uh, Morello does get to shoot. Oh, sorry, that was probably a hit. Wait, just to get the shot. So he's pumped three. To red. Uh, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And. Dodge two. Only take one. Takes one. Yeah, he takes one. Riyad is still alive. One hit point left. I do not have a shot back away. Probably not. Can you stick I don't think so, but no, no, no oh. shot back from Riyadh. Though I had a strong feeling that was the case. That was a great, uh, um, that was a great yes. stall. Oh, it was beautifully done. It was just unfortunate yeah. the damage, and he needed the bump from Chino. He needed that bump. Uh, Didn't boy. get it. The IG is miles away. The IG needs to get back into this fight, and I don't think it's going to get back there in time for Morello to be alive for it. The biggest problem now that Brad had as well is Morello is not going to get a shot before anybody else now. With the pilot skill zero crit. It will not survive. No. Only by sheer dumb rolls could that thing get out of the situation now. Will will he do a stall to force a two right forward? No. He's doing a one. Does a one to clear the... S one of the four stresses. One of the four stresses, yep. Because that's important. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh. Defender stays in the arc. Where is Chirino going? Now that's, well, Chirino is going to have a shot regardless at this point. And even then, all he needs is so to get one hit soft. through. And then another one boost. Because what, what the defender's doing is trying to avoid that heavy laser cannon. Mm. Oh, so he did advanced sensors. He did his boost first. And and so Cherno rolled for the damage coming off that debris that he's on. Mm. And he will take another stress. And no action. Console fire? Yes. Brad does not take damage from the console fire. Hey, uh, uh, Dennis, I think that uh, Cherno gets a stress. 
Unless it's already on the base, it's probably already on the base. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Alrighty. So it sounds like Morello is gone. Yep. That was a beautiful roll by Jeff, enough to effectively say, yep, that's a guaranteed dead. Uh, All righty, so Brad shoots oh, a decimator. Shooting at a decimator. Uh, you have IGB. Oh, yeah, I miss. Shoot again. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, three. three hits at Desi. And just three. So he rolled four nothings. And then get and then realize and Jeff had to remind him he had the gunner ability. Yep. So So back to dials. Mm. So what are we looking at with Chirino at the moment? Oh there we go. Eleven. So he can do I have a feel four Vaders mm. to put four damage in. Which isn't going to be enough if it, if Chirino is going to have to do the shots first for that to be relevant. But if Brad can focus enough firing before Chirino really does the damage, uh, then it limits the possibilities yeah. of Vader. Well, and I feel that with Riyad being over there, I feel like Jeff. He's a green three turn. He's a three yep. uh, green three K turn. But for Brad at the moment, Riyad's not relevant because he can turn around and take out Riyad if he finishes off Chirino. Well, he gets two chances. Because he's got gunner. Nice. Avoids the rock. Brad comes in to aim for Chirino, who hopingly comes into his arc for this the one. The aggressors really don't have many hit points, do they? He's taken an evade. Nice. No. So. That looks like a range two shot to me. I would dare say that's a range two. Range two. That is, in fact, two confirmed. Jeff fires. Three hit, two hits and two a focus. And he's, he's, he's and he's turned gone. It a yep. That's a two. Uh, two crits and a hit. Brad is. Brad takes the one to stop Gunner from coming into play. Fires two into Chirino, which he takes by. Simple. It's hard evade because if you can really pump the hits into Chino, he's real because oh, he kept an evade to stop the gunner. Interesting. I I well honestly, if you spend the evade there, gunner comes in. That's when you've got to deal with a naked ship as opposed to your evading ship. Yeah, that's true. I think Jeff had the better a better opportunity if he got the second shot in. So Brad knew that. So you just take one one damage in comparison to the potential of. Three yeah. or four more, like that's you don't want that at all. Mm. So, again, as I, as I said, I think if Brad, con if Brad continues to focus on Chirino, he gets enough damage in there that Vader it becomes no longer relevant, and then just turns it Riyad. The ag aggressor could win this from here, possibly, but at the same time, a good roll from Chirino into the aggressor. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. It's only got two of eight dice, isn't it? Uh, is it three? You're not sure either. Uh, I, I don't have much experience with the aggressor. Oh, he's done a sloop. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, aggressor has three defense dice, so... Should be able to deal with most of the shots, yeah. theoretically. Although that's not exactly the And he's the got an evade token. Oh, Chirino's gone... Or is Chirino still in arc? I think he might just be. We're going to lean our heads and so I'm going to say no. I don't know. I think from that line, of, from what I can see from the screen, I think he might still have a shot. I think he's going to shoot at Riyad. He's going to shoot at Riyad. The aggressive fires. No, no, that's uh, Jeff firing uh, with Chirino. And he has... Yeah, with the aggressive... Oh, no, sorry, yeah, with the... Yep. 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 Auto thrusters. Cool. Jeff goes for round two. Three again. Three again. Man, it's relentless. Brad needs to get through these as well. And he spends no, the evade. Not a token. thing though. He's evaded it. Back at Riyadh. All right. And here we go at Riyadh. So he's firing at Riyadh. Oh, finally oh, one. Man. But that could be enough if Jeff fails. That's gonna. Jeff. Oh, gunner. Two. Two. Goes two. Dodge, 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 I heard. Yeah, dodges. Solid. 
Red fires. Two thrusts. Yep. Two shields. Not good. Oh. Not good. Well. He All forgot right. his. He forgot his juke. I don't think he was worrying so much about that though, because if he can get just enough base damage. Mm. There we go. One shield, four hull, versus ten hull. That's a really good think about where he goes. Heavy hitters, yeah. yeah. Well, the um, Riyadh is right up against a rock, mm. so is it going to go? Uh, is it going to do a non-three manoeuvre? I'm actually surprised how well this scum list is going against this, uh, this list. It's, uh... Alright, so Jeff pulls Riyadh out of the fight for the Run away. The aggressor... Does a one... Just goes four. forward. That's the dangerous position to put him, but... Now it's going to... It's going to barrel roll, I think you'll find. Hmm. No more stress. And he will take an evade. Too hard towards you. Ooh, Ooh, and the aggressor comes... It's like the decimator comes in. Oh, no. oh that's going to oh, be a shot. Oh, it's finish. a bump. Beautiful. Oh, I'm bro. Shot too. I think that yeah. is a break. <gasps> oh. So uh, Jeff has no shot Jeff, as he's going on rock. Jeff has announced where uh, Brad can go with that. Uh, <laughs> now, as we all know, uh, um, the landing on the rock means no shooty shooty. Now, Brad. So Two credits. Oh, it's Okay, so he's uh, crit. hit and crit into um, Cherno. Uh, can't go straight. Oh. Um, so it's going to make things interesting That's for be, Jeff. Yeah, but well. The question is, where is Brad going to go? Like, he's got to avoid that rock, or is he just going to try and fly over it? Well, uh... He will. He will do. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble there <laughs> because uh, he'll take he'll take an evade token. Um, uh, he's not stressed. Uh, I'm just gonna try and I'm just looking for a. Uh, um, a decimated dial because I don't know it off the top. Of it. Uh, so yeah, he can do a two hard, three hard. He can do all the softs. So mm. you can't do any straights, which is Alright, Brad assigns the evade token knowing that he's probably not gonna get an action from his maneuver and going straight over the rock. Going for Riyadh to finish off Riyadh before she gets back into the fight. Well he loses his action. Uh, that does nothing, right? No, that is, that is actually a crit. Oh, last shield gone on the Ouch. crit of the rock. Thankfully, he still had the shield to avoid the actual crit. Oh, Jeff takes man. a damage on Chirino. Sure, no. But nah, Chirino. but now this attack, Vader's going in. A I feel like this could be a Vader moment here, yeah. Well, definitely. You Shields wanna, are gone. You want to get the crits in you and the damage. You want to get the crits in, yep. So, Jeff takes the range one shot. Target locks. Why spend like Predator? Why didn't you Predator? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> target lock over a Predator. Uh, thrusters. Token. Crit or a crit. So he takes a crit. Structural damage. Structural damage. Okay. Jeff not Vader. Jeff Vader not, is not Vader. Interesting choice. That attitude. Nope. Uh, comes Gunner. Fight attempts, fires again. Nope. Right here. Nope. No. Uh, you have structural damage, so I'm going to spend the invade token. Yeah, we have Duke. Ah, oh, focus. 
All right. I think either way it's basically the same answer. So. One. All right, so Jeff rolls one. One in. Get someone well, hit. I guess we're all playing game three. Ooh. Brad it's declaring that he doesn't good. think he's going to get to game three at this rate. Uh, I think uh, Brad's going to be playing a lot of Rear Admiral Cherno coming up in the uh, next couple of months before regionals. I have a feeling it could be a list that uh, Jeff throws at him. Um, I don't think he's going to see a lot of his A-Wing or uh, Money and Falcon anytime soon, that's for sure. No, no. Why would you let him play with that? Uh, <laughs> Not when you had the... Uh, the There's quite a bit to choice. make, I think. Quite a bit to make deciding what the other person will play. Mm. You know, it's funny. We're still me and Matt are still discussing what we what we actually take what, for our uh, wager of grudge match three. <laughs> Jeff telling you off. Already here. <laughs> What's that? Two flips are shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. No, no. So, uh, Jeff went into great detail berating a a, a, uh, uh, a new player who was defending the two flip that mm. a striker can do, and Jeff was basically slagging that off uh, earlier. Mm. Uh, generally, slagging off the striker with a two flip. Who would use it? He has just two flipped um, with three ad. <laughs> But a two flip that's green versus a two flip that's red. Yeah. I can agree that's a reasonable. Mm. Uh, Should we include lists, Mick? Uh, so, what are you going to play against uh, Matt? Mm. Do you know? Oh, uh, I, I think we've agreed that he has to take his main scum list. Uh, and I will have to take Chewy Nora because that seems to be the main stake. Uh, it's something with Chewy at the very least because Why? because Chewy is the thing I fly. It's it's my ship. No, the Falcon I, is my ship. What you should do is agree to nothing and show up with something <laughs> that'll beat him. Yeah, but I don't think he. What is the really grudge match over? What are you are you trying oh, to settle? I, uh, I think it, I think it's a matter of you know me and Maddie used to play Monday nights quite regularly and. He kicked my ass for a little bit there, and then there was a period where I managed to start kicking his butt. And I, see. Uh, I think it's time to settle the score of uh, who's developed to be the better X-wing player at this point. So, um, I think that's, and I think it's just fun to be in a grudge match anyway. I want to be in a grudge match. Yeah, you want to be uh, taped uh, losing like I've done. Brad's now experienced it, although we've got him on tape flying a full health yep. falcon off a board. Too late, Matty. What do you mean by too late? <laughs> oh, don't make me come over there. <laughs> oh. I think that was the end. Yep, that was IG. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Uh, double Vader. A double Vader. Oh. So he waited until he had two hit points, and then just attacked, went Vader, attacked, went Vader. Oh. All right, so Brad just showing off his final potential list, which was going to be... Uh, Brad was going to fight in Imperial. Imperial. And we had a Rebel list for Jeff. For Jeff. But... Unfortunately, all over. Nobody wants to go home, right? We play the third game. Uh, we're happy to commentate the third game, even yeah, if it doesn't mean anything. But I will require a break. Huh? Yeah, let's let's all right. Yeah. Well, if you're still tuned in, we're going to take oh. a brief break. Dennis, you can let the players know I'm going out for a break. Yep. So <laughs> five minutes breather, and then we'll be back. Yeah, you must be a smoker, Mick. Yes. I am in fact a smoker. For those of you at that. home, you should stop that. I did not expect. Matt, don't make me come over and find you, mate. I'll kill you with a tray. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna.
You're alive and on the air, Dave. Is that on? Nice toothbrush. Illusion when I um so come through. Totally out as Nick the <laughs> <laughs> it was all an illusion. We're not really in a falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, no, so Disney wouldn't let us borrow the actual set, so we had to, uh, you know, call them up and see if we could at least use the background, just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> Alrighty, so this one's for the, the oh, for the fun of it all. We're just going to go to the, the final lists that they had planned for tonight. Uh, so, so Brad flying the uh, uh, Ash Shelton tribute the, list. The Ash Shelton <laughs> tribute uh, list. <laughs> Whisper Callus, yep, and then uh, yeah, it's a mini just crack swarm, one. isn't it? With uh, so that's just Academy. Tie. So he hasn't gone with the four black squadrons with the crack shot. He's gone with Callus. And who have we got over here? Oh, I don't see. Uh, so we've got Miranda Doney with the lovely TLT. Extra munitions to just load up on the bombs there. Sabine just helps to dish out the damage with the bombs. And of course we've got the proximity and Connor Nets, which just are just going to really put the hurt down on the TIE fighters. Advanced slam so he can get himself out of the danger if he needs to. Uh, size me charges as well for more hurt on the bomb drop. Uh, and then we've got two golds. One that's uh, only one with the ion cannon turret. So, but that's that's oh, enough to keep a, a black. It's a fantastic list. I played the, against mm. this list tonight with my aces, and it absolutely obliterated me. It's it's just uh, mm. a fantastic list because he drops <laughs> drops a ton a ton of bombs with the two mm. bombs uh, bomb droppers, and then the trying to hand out ions, which he should be able to lay on a little bit of that to these uh, uh, Black Squadron pilots. The commentary inspired me to come and play X-Wing on Monday night, partly because Jeff wanted to finish painting my stuff, but was entertaining watching a few games. Brad, I think you should come back. Uh, I'm just reading a message that he sent me through me directly. I think Brett should actually come back and play a game of X-Wing, Mr. Silk. Uh, while they're... Uh, preparing their first manoeuvre. A quick question for everybody at home, because it's been a bit of a topic of debate with the Clone Wars. Uh, now that we're referencing Miranda and her bomb setup, uh, Jeff has actually pointed out that Sabine has a once per turn do an extra damage. Now Jeff is questioning whether or not he could, in a Clone Wars scenario, have two Sabines effectively activate to do two damage as opposed to just the one if they're in range. Now there's some debate. Brad reckons that it'd still only be the one damage regardless of the two Sabines because of it's a unique situation. The rules aren't calibrated for it, but would still be it'd be a once per turn deal one damage. Jeff rebuttals with, but it's two instances of Sabine and they would do two damage. Uh, for those listening out there, if you have any opinions of that, you're welcome to throw still awake, If you're still awake, if you're still with us, <laughs> if you're still awake after a late night and such a well, what a question, eh? Look at these Y wings, of course, going side on as they want to do. Absolutely, I mean they they can be in any angle when they'll fire off their turrets happily. So, well, they're they're both only range one to two turrets, so one's an auto blaster and one is the uh, ion turret. Mm. And so the auto blaster can't be avoided by a V dice. Mm. So these are. Uh, why would you do? Why would you do that? Where is he barrel rolling to? They should let him undo that. That's crazy. No, he's made the choice now. Quite the 
I shouldn't crunch my chips. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see if we mix the dial. I know it has a hard one, but I don't think a hard one actually dodges the rock. I thought it would. I'm not so sure on him. Brad debating whether or not a hard one's going to get I reckon past a it. hard one to the right will dodge that rock. I reckon he'll get out of there. I, I don't know a hard one to the left will. I reckon if he goes for the right, yeah, he, he should the be right, able to get out of there. He'll be okay. Yeah. And he comes whisper. <laughs> yeah, Matty, we, we, we're, we're not sure if that means that. Well, okay, if it would trigger once, each would trigger once per turn, could they trigger effectively at the same time, or would you only be able to activate a spin once each? So, drop a bomb, activate, drop another bomb, activate, or would they activate simultaneously? This is why crew are unique. This mm. exact reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this exact point, and we're going, nah, that doesn't count no more. So. Yeah, good old Clone Wars. you got to love it. Uh, we're just getting some... Reset up of the numbers in the on the ship, so we actually see what we're actually dealing with in terms of um, what they've got. No, I don't believe it. Dennis hasn't set up. Oh, here he goes. He's hiding his mistake there. No. <laughs> no. What's uh four? Is it four and six? They're discussing the Sabine Clone Wars thing. <laughs> I never. Okay, if, if for Jeff's reference, I, I, I'm not siding on either side. I'm more curious to what people would say. If you could pass that on, Dennis. Uh, he's not siding on either side. He's just more curious. But he was getting some opinions from the audience. Good. Yeah. Ah, uh, decloak, whisper. I don't. Oh shit! Let him do it. Uh, no, he's revealed a dial. Uh, he's already revealed the dial for the school yeah. one. He gave himself the opportunity. He's absolutely correct. He does it to me. I'm gonna do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, going. You know what? You've been telling me that I can't do things because I've missed my opportunity. So, Brad, you can stay decloaked. Thank you very much. I see. I'm more of a gentleman. I would have let him decloak. <laughs> I don't know. After you've been told two games in a row. You've missed things You're too bad, so sad. I'd be a little bit salty about it too. <laughs> but I suppose, depending on what his uh, manoeuvre with Whisper is, it might still end up... I mean, she might get a shot, but she'll stay very defended for this turn at the very least. It's not looking good. The, the most effective, the potent attacking weapon is neutered. Again, it, I suppose it depends yeah. on where he's going to end up for this one. So, I suppose technically the decoke might have got him into a good position. Well, you were right about the one hard left. But these ties are in sixes and sevens. Mm. <laughs> and seven shields, Brad. No, that's not what a tie fighter comes with. <laughs> those ties look quite dead with those stats, don't they? Mm. Uh, I don't know if Matt. Do you think Charles... it'll slam and drop a bomb on that tie fighter? No. Yeah. No, he's just gonna token up. Whisper just going forward. She's not going to have any shots, so not a massive loss that she's decloaked, thankfully. It will set up next turn, though. Mm, absolutely. Um... Well, Brad could easily use the decloak to go forward and come up from Miranda, yep. so... Alright, so Miranda goes for the shield loss for the extra dice to really pump into that tie. Oh, brutal, yes. Definitely, 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100% cock tie. Oh, shit. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's that's potentially a dead tie if Brad doesn't roll well. Oh, is it, is it primary weapon? Yep, yep. 
Yep. <laughs> that is a dead tie. What down? Jesus Christ. One of the blacks, yeah. One of the black squads is down. Before it even gets to use a crack shot or anything, it's just dead. It doesn't leave a lot of shots for Brad now. Alright, so Brad gets a shot with his tie. Alright, this is not going according to the, <laughs> the initial stage of the plan. Brad complaining about uh, it not going to plan. If the plan was to get shot at and killed, it's going great. Mm. I doubt so. that's his plan. Mm. A little bit more comment on my question earlier. Um, two more effects related to the palm detonating would stack and resolve before moving on. So both should be able to go off. So we're talking about the theory of the game setup that breaks the rules and what would the rule should be on the really game breaking mm. rule. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I was, it's, it's I was going to play in the Clone Wars. I, my my wife has booked that time, and I will not be able to make it that day. Oh, but I was going to yeah, I was going to fly five countdowns. Now countdown, as long as you're not stressed, you can only take one damage per turn. Now you think about yeah how little like that's five of them four hull each and no crits either. Oh, he's decloaked. He's remembered this time. And gone behind the rock. I feel hopefully he's made a manoeuvre to go past it. I'm like, Brad, fuck that too. <laughs> <laughs> if he flies into that rock... This is difficult to watch. <laughs> this is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matty. Seriously, man, I'm getting you in a commentary booth one day, buddy. You're coming in with me. It's happening. Mm. <laughs> I think... Uh, Hopefully, Brad has done a two or three soft to the right. I'm hoping to so. take him and so he can blast the crap out of that Y wing. But I've got a feeling he's going straight. Yeah, target, uh, target lock set up on the academy pilot to guarantee potentially another dead tie this round. He's doing Brad. Oh, he's bumping. I haven't played. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So let's play. Uh, <laughs> let's let's play silly buggers. So let's play and tape it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't slept. I don't know what I'm doing. Roll videotape. That's what you want. <laughs> Welcome to X Wing's funniest home videos. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> uh, Matty, I think you know if you, if you feel behind the table. I mean. It's fine. Four Omega Leaders. It's an interesting... It's an interesting... Uh, the Clone Wars is an interesting setup. It's... Look, the last time we did it, we've got some really curious lists out there. Um, I Someone mean, bring two Luke Skywalkers? Two Luke Skywalkers. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, it's your... It's your um, two, Jake, two Jakes, two Whispers... Two Fenrows. You can actually, depending how you build Fenrow, you can put three of them. Mm. Not easily. But. No, not easily, but that could be a brutal setup. I'm not going to mm. be a fucking shot because I don't know how to excellent. Oh, where's Brad going? Oh, Brad no. Is, oh, no, he's coming. No, come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Brad. Oh, did he get it? He's, come on. That's got to be on a rock. We're leaning it. Yeah. Brad did not have it. No, oh, that's on a rock. Jesus it's not where you Brad. want this, but at all. Jesus. That's a hit on the shield and no shots from I actually, learned, I actually learned what that meant as opposed to what I thought. And I mean, you know what else that means? No cloak, which means those, uh, <laughs> the Y wing, the Y wing is going to get a. Mm, Primary. Well, I always thought it was pallet of cheese because originally that the, was the uh, context of the K wing's going to pump in two TLTs as well. If it doesn't, it's crazy. Uh, so Miranda so fucked. Miranda. Miranda. <laughs> pallet du fromage. Yeah. Do you speak cheese? Nice one, Jeff. Pallet du fromage. Pallet du fromage. I think that's like. Uh, 
That's the quote of the night there, Dennis. Let him know. That's the quote of the night right there. Oh. Can lose this for next turn. Um, I can't all the fucking bombs. I'm sorry. Ah! Uh, this guy? Did you? You? Oh, this was that. Yeah. Yeah. Range three at Miranda. Yep. Alrighty. So I shot at Miranda. One dodge. Crack shot. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's like, yeah, I got a crack, crack shot. shot. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to one-shot Miranda. Sorry, just trying to one-shot Miranda. I on cannon at the Academy 5. Well, the Academy 5 is going to take a punishing here. Poor old Plucky. Well, you know what's going to happen. That's the eye on cannon. Yep. It's going to do a one forward. Oh. Did it happen? Did it go off? Yeah, it went off. For, they're reaching for the ion tokens. Uh, and primary from the other guy at the same target. Oh, so he's going to go... Hit crit no, through the rock. <laughs> no, dodge. Dodges it happily. Academy at Miranda. Yep. Academy goes for the shot at Miranda. Dodged. And Miranda dodges like a champ. Well, this is over. <laughs> Brad already declaring defeat. Well, Whispers uh, hasn't shot. And uh, it's going to take some bombs to the face. Uh, Dennis, Dennis, do you want to maybe uh, offer Brad the opportunity to get Ash in here to teach him how to fly Phantoms? Oh, that's a bit rude. Did you hear next one, bro? No. Um, Dave has just suggested that perhaps Ash can come in here and teach you how to fly Whispers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because I, I don't think I've seen... Uh, I'm actually uh, not sure how I bombed him from here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure Jeff will find a way Why to finds bomb a way? the shit <laughs> out of Whisper there. He's got seismic charges, I think, which it's is you lay it down what, and what it'll blows up and it blows up no, and causes a face up damage card like everything back, you want. Oh, no, it's a face down. Oh yellow, the ship. The ship is yellow. Sorry, that that is an orange token. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that one's yellow, that one's fucking blue. Baiting so uh it appears to me that Jeff has lots of shields and hull mm. and Brad does not. Brad's looking a little bit squishy at this yeah, point. Yeah, squishy. That's a good word. Whisper is... No decoy. Academy. No <laughs> Whisper does no decoy. Thanks, Brad. Academy does the one forward thanks to Ions. 100% forgot he was going one forward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to hugely matter, but... Oh, barrel, barrel, barrel rolls. rolls. Barrel rolls. <laughs> Open for a block, maybe? He's worried about a next turn uh, ion cannon. Oh, bumpity bump, nice. Yeah, that's 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 he's done that well at the very least. He's got the academy pilot on the road of the Y wing. Maybe keep the academy pilot. But oh, and double that bump does mean though that that Y wing now has a very nice right up in face shot there. One of one of those uh, one of those has a auto blaster, which is going to be brutal. Oh yeah, one. Needs a bomb to go off near him. Doesn't even have to hit him. Oh. Sound of the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Jeff and the rest of them lamenting over the fact that all Whisper needs is to hear the bomb go off. Mm. And well, she'll... it's about right, isn't it? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> Whisper getting you know flashbacks and blowing up. Post-traumatic stress from uh, <laughs> after already oh, having a deal with Jeff in the. Past. I was out there. I was out there, and what'd you shoot at? Whisper. No, nothing. I just saw uh, there was a rock and and then a bomb and then uh, lots of swearing. <laughs> I think uh, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't heard the signature mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes were made. <laughs> and I reckon there is going to be a bomb dropped here. Uh, it's got to be a bomb dropped there. That's it's you, you just you just would. Oh no, advanced slam. Oh, Here we go. Which bomb do I drop that makes this guy get hit as well? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff going for maximum torment. 
Now, I'm not happy with uh, crippling this guy. I need to give this I guy a limp as well. He's going to go for the Connor net. <laughs> Hoping to do a decent yeah. amount of damage uh, while yes, also he, taking uh, out Whisper. Yes, I believe he does have proxy mines on the Y Wing, I think. But the Connor net is the go. Because look what that does. That's Boom. Have a nice day. Goodbye, Whisper. And it's range one to another ship. What a bitch of a bomb that thing is. That's that's not pleasant at all. They've forgotten to put Whisper uh, back on the board, so? Mick. Uh, it might be dead. I think he... <laughs> We take to say he's gone. The whisper is gone. One hit, one dodge. Yep, that's the guy that spends it, isn't it? Yep, yep. Brad attempts to shoot two. Miranda. Oh, oh is that uh, um, auto blaster in the academy? Uh, yep. Okay, hey, I'm not dead. Woo, academy lives. One. Still not there. Uh, Ion into that black. Yep. The Academy manages to walk away from the front or, uh, back the end engagement. Yeah. Sure. Why? <laughs> 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 the one that's See, I get the feeling that Brad was banking very heavily on his Ray Jake one, list. One uh, He's taking two. To oh, take winning. the first winning. win, yeah. Sure. But, and I also think that he probably wasn't expecting the go against the lists he has in the order that they've been. So, probably not. Whisper was kind of important. Uh, yes, yeah, so a whisper, whisper is very important in a whisper swarm. Yeah, absolutely. That glass cannon, you needed to not shatter <laughs> before it actually does the damage. Oh wait, he did. I guess Y Wing better than Jake and <laughs> Whoa. I mean, that was a Miranda, but. So, uh, Dennis, has anything hit Miranda? Oh, or, is it, <laughs> or is it taken shields just to shoot more dice? Uh, just to shoot more dice. Alright, oh, so Brad hasn't hit him yet. No, Miranda's just been. Sabine didn't kill Wizard, right. Sabine did a damage to the other Tide Fighter. Yeah, Sabine, yeah. Yeah, the uh, Connonet kills. The Connonet killed uh, Whisper. Yeah. And then the Connonet, uh, Sabine, in the removal of the Connonet, caused one damage, which is uh, that uh, TIE fighter that's um, nearest Miranda there. Mm. Right, Mike, enough to let the Y Wing come but, through. But one of these Y Wings has a bunch of bombs. And I think. Uh, it's um, got to be that one, right? I, I, I assume that's why he's trying to push yeah. so hard for that one to come around. Oh, and that wing fits. Which means he's going to get a nice okay. shot, potentially, as what? well. Oh, no, no. Maybe that's not the one with the bombs, then. Now you die, Academy Yeah, this one's got the bombs. Yeah, this is where we see the drop. Cluster oh, mine, boy. Just fucking dying in. This bomb list is nasty. Oh, it's so now what he's going to do is put down the middle bomb to see if it. No. So just the one over this side. So just the one over that side. Just the one he says. Brad's keen for it to die. Brad's just like, you know what, Academy Fire, what you've done, nothing. Someone else is Sabine. Yeah, because I don't really care about the Academy Pilot. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, the Academy Pilot's dead, but let's see what else I can kill while I'm at it. Not too Nothing, unfortunately. No. No. Academy does the plus and the main room, right? Well, yeah. if I roll. Oh, you have to roll. He's only one left, though, right? Yeah, yeah Sabine kills him, and then fights. Cool. So it's another. Uh, I think that Brad has Jeff on the ropes. <laughs> Matty, I think you're looking at a different uh, Twitch stream yeah, of maybe, X Wing uh, here, mate. <laughs> maybe watch a replay of uh, Brad v Ash because yeah, uh, it's not um, this is going to be 3-0 three, three in the hole by the looks of it 
Uh, so, unfortunately, Brad has still not hit anything. Oh no, he crack shotted something. Yeah, he got a. He Didn't put, he get he a, put a crack shot into someone? Did you miss that one, Dennis? No, that, that was. Oh, into Miranda, was it? Yep. Okay, so that's the one damage he's right. done. Well, no, it's two two damage. He must. He took a dice previously. So, you know, he's just, we're just oh, waiting wow. to see. <laughs> a masterful little move there. And so that that yeah. leading tie can't shoot at jack shit. Mm. Uh, you have, does he have crack shot? He has crack shot and all his health. Uh, I'm going to spend those. He's the only one. Right. Takes one. Oh, takes one. Which means it's got a nice range one. He shoots Miranda. Mm -hmm. Three oh, hits. Three no hits need for a crack. And a miss. So Miranda actually takes a bit of damage. Jeff goes to finish off the dastardly tie that attacked him. Oh no! Hits over the ion. The ion, the ion cannons got him. All right, so and the white so squad's are floating points, on one. We're two hit points away from packing up this. Uh, well, this. Uh, Jeff beating Brad three mm. zip best of three. Um, it's a maybe, hard, um, maybe I think uh, shit Brad should play with Whisper quite a lot uh, <laughs> yeah. until he gets the hang of it. <laughs> Forcing him to always fly a Whisper from now on, which would be a, 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 a bit of a bit of a stab at him for the fact that you know Ash had to technically fly an A wing after that. And now well, Brad would be wouldn't, which no, which you would. Yeah. But now with an Ash course, Brad can't just get out mm, of it. He's going to have to fire the Whisper now. If Jeff so chooses, that to be his list. All right, so the y -wing so really the here. question is, uh, how long will Brad have to fly with Whisper? Oh, there's a bump. Jeff's play is very unforgiving. It's it's relentless mm. in its efficiency to predict where you're gonna go. Oh, he's he's very calculated in how he goes about any game. Uh, Some would say evil, would they? Well, but evil's I, a I think strong I, word. I, then. Evil, uh, everything's extremes, isn't it? So, <laughs> I, look, it, I think it's just it's come down to a matter of Jeff does take the time to focus and. Learn, yeah, and and it's not just in X Wing. It's it's uh, oh, all the games he plays. I've experienced it in L uh, LCG against him. Um, it, it is nothing quite like seeing the stuff that he pulls off in LCG either. Uh, it's just uh, studies. Well, look at him now. He's just thinking. He's not just thinking about will I kill Brad. It's how how glorious can I make it? Is mm. I think what he's up to now. Slam rack whisper. Slam. So he slams and probably you see, drops uh, a bomb. Dennis, you see that on the board that the uh, the crowd are suggesting uh, that Brad needs to fly Rack Whisper. I think that's an interesting idea. Rack Whisper. It's a crit in. Miranda takes the crit. She can. This is correct. I need to die from you. Why do you have so many cards? I pick up the dice and thrust control. That's annoying. Thrust control? Oh, Miranda's looking a bit worse for you. I feel like. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big thrust control fire card. That's the way Dennis rolls, Nick. <laughs> he likes it big and in your face. Sorry, uh. His cards. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you're talking about his cards, eh? <laughs> There's nothing else I really want to be talking about that's big that's in my face with uh, Dennis. No offence to the old boy. Could be his beard. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Alrighty, so one Black Squadron back. Sorry, Matty, but I don't think your prediction of him making a late stage comeback really going to come to effect here. Uh, a single TIE fighter that's stressed with one hit point. Yeah, I think we're done. I think, as Jeff uh, put it early, tell him he's dreaming. Yeah. All right, let's uh, see what the tie does. How uh, badly he's put himself Two into green. Is it green? Oh. I believe it's green on a tie, is it not? It's yeah, really l lucky uh, that Brad hasn't embarrassed himself with this list as well. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, oh, I could have ended it there. I didn't. Seismic charge. See, this is Jeff pontificating about how <laughs> gloriously he could blow uh, Brad up. Matty, you are the king of hope, yeah, mate. I've got to give you that. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> right. Um, I'm watching, Matt. Dropping a dice to get a shield. Yep. One. Throws a dice at the tie. Second Dodges shot. it. Goes for a shot. Uh, Don't forget to put a shield back, Dennis. Oh boy, it could actually lose my Tell you how to suck eggs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you do so is you get a pin. <laughs> the other guy does. <laughs> the dead guy has crack shot. That's the guy that spent his. Okay. Um, so that's the matter. What you do, Dennis, oh, yeah, is, you, is you get the egg and you put a hole no, in the no, top and a hole in the bottom dead, and I'm then you crack. put your mouth on it oh, and then you talking? suck. Yeah. There, yeah, that's yeah, how you all suck eggs. All right. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he oh no, he's still hanging Is he going to survive one more turn? Probably, oh no, more red dice. Oh, there's a primary oh, weapon that dice. misses. Oh, there's three dice inside. It's fine. We might kill Miranda, which is more than I've ever done against this list. Miranda's oh, Miranda. really hard to kill, I've found. <laughs> <laughs> One whole point left, you oh, never know. If a black squad can at least take out Miranda, that's got to be a moral victory at least, right? A moral victory, that's what he wants. Uh -huh. yeah. I got a shield back and then he trot off. She could have died, that was blank. She's dead. Or if that guy was the other guy. That guy was the other guy. <laughs> Jeff just circling around like the vulture. These Y wings, they just do two hards over and over and over and over again. That's all you need to do with the Y wings, especially when you've got a nice little rotating turret there. Mm. Uh oh. That's not good. Bomb would certainly end it at this point. You would be. No, he's going to barrel roll and he's going to be tokenless. Oh, he's going in. Now, where is Miranda going? Could Miranda drop a bomb at this point, or is it going to be a potential shot from the top? Oh, oh, there it is. There's, there's the bomb. The, there's the game. game over. Brad tosses the tie away. Dad ties to table flip. Oh. Well, look. Can you, uh, can you get. Uh, we don't. We can't That's see. Good game to end on. Brad to do a three, three oh. zero on the camera. No. Oh <laughs> they want you to do a three zero. <laughs> three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Brad having a wank. Brad having a wank. Classy Jeff, classy. Alrighty, so a couple things before we leave you tonight. Um, so obviously, just to recap, now this means that Jeff effectively gets to pick every list that Brad flies at every event now until we get to regionals. Uh, now obviously they've agreed that they're not going to do anything absolutely terrible to each other. So I think Whisper's quite a good ship. I think, Whisp I've, I've I think Whisper Rack is actually a not a bad ship. He has thrown, flown it with some great mm. success. I, I, I'm a quite a fan. I think Absolutely. Look, I, I think... Uh, now, 
Uh, so yeah, no, it'll be interesting to see what he does, but I think Riz Borak could be a, f a fun list to play so, with. The so the least. next tournament uh, down here at 36, besides Monday and Friday flights, is the Clone Wars. Clone and Wars then, is our next one, yep. And then regionals, uh, ACT regionals uh, on the 11th and 12th of February. Yep. Hopefully uh, before then we will get a regionals warm up in there as well. Oh, right, and there'll be more. Up. There'll be more grown men with little toys. Oh yeah, trying little, to we'll, settle. Uh, uh, oh, look, you, you know, you made up grudges. If you haven't heard already, there is obviously the next couple of grudge matches that have been posted on the uh, Number two. Are you going to get a t-shirt for yours? I think we're going to be discussing... We've already discussed the images of uh, Scum shooting up Wookiees just to... Because Matt's pretty I sure see. he's already got this in the bag and I wouldn't be surprised either. He's, uh, he's but uh, I'm going to have to find it. I feel like it? I need to find a Wookiee that's throwing a bounty hunter somewhere, you know, just sort of tearing him apart. Uh, something like I, he let the Wookiee win or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think yeah. would be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, look, uh, if you haven't seen it, there is obviously oh, oh, posts oh. about the um, events. So uh, if you if you do have any opinions of what our wager should be, feel free to post on X Wing yeah, as go, well. Uh, we'd love to go, hear go some to the ideas. Facebook events of 3D6 and uh, absolutely. Uh, Oh, get, love get on board. Get mm. on board, is that what we say? Absolutely. We'd love yeah. to see you here at 3D6 playing the game. If you have an idea for a grudge match as well, feel free to approach us. You know, we've got the next two lined up, but we're always happy for more options let's, as well. Let's make it angry. A bit angry. Oh, a bit angry. Oh, okay. Angry. okay. Or, uh, you know, have some feeling about it. Sorry. So uh, I feel like there's going to be some passion in the next one. Don't you worry. <laughs> Well, I think um, uh, I think uh, I think we'll sign off from the bridge of the uh, uh, Millennium Falcon now that's... and go and uh, uh, rub it into Brad a little. Yeah, right, yep, yeah, yeah, free O, yep, cool. Three, three and one. zero. Three I and think zero. it's time to uh, let him know. Yeah, just uh, how amusing that is. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, Dennis, thanks a lot. Cut us off. All right, thank All you right. very much. Have a good night.